Everett reporting from Nefertari's Fine Cuisine, my favorite place to hang out. Um, I decided to do a video blog and this is our first episode. So we decided who better to do the first episode with than Dana and Sharon Denard, the doctors Dana and Shana, Sharon Denard, owners of Nefertari's Fine Cuisine. I think I've known you all for about 25 years since the early 90s. Since the um, time, yes. yes, it has <laughs> been quite some time. And we go way back to Amon Ra's back when it was over on Adams Street to the Arquette Center, the Internet Cafe, the Sakara Youth Institute, where my son was one of the first to be involved in that um, African centered school. But now we're here at Nefertari's Fine Cuisine, and I just wanted you to talk a little bit about what caused you to, what prompted you to start the restaurant and what offerings you have here. Oh boy. Uh -huh. yeah. How much time do we have, Nicole? <laughs> Actually, <laughs> I'll jump right in. Okay. Uh, welcome everyone, and I think this is such a beautiful thing that you're doing, this, Nicole, and I'm extremely excited about it. Uh, let's see. Uh, and to those of you that are viewing right now, we hope to see you soon dining at Nefertari's Fine Cuisine and Spirits. That being said, what prompted us, to, I'll take that one and Dana okay. can tell you what we offer. Okay. Um, Dana and I, for, for all of our lives it seems, and certainly uh, all of our union, have been about the promotion of the health and well-being of the community. Mm -hmm. uh, as busy professionals, we ate out a lot. There were a lot of things we didn't like about eating out. Mm -hmm. One was the variety of food that was accessible to us. Uh, two, uh, back then I was vegetarian, now I'm vegan, so there are not very many vegetarian mm -hmm. offerings. If I wanted Italian, he wanted Indian, there was the push-pull, push-pull, what are we gonna do? Tonight we'll have one, the next night we'll have the other. There were too many dirty restaurants. I'm sad to say that, yes, I ate in them too. The telltale sign, by the way, is a bathroom. Check out the bathroom first. If it's jacked, you don't want to dine there. So there was that. There was the issue of going out, and tonight I want a smoothie. I don't want a alcoholic beverage, although I do drink alcoholic beverages. But let's say tonight I want a smoothie. So there was nowhere in town until Nefertari's that you could get uh, organic tea, an organic coffee, a smoothie, a nice organic wine, or a stiff drink because it was that kind of a day perhaps. Mm -hmm. So there were a lot of things. You have to go to eat one place, go to get entertainment at another place. So we thought, oh, it would be really nice to put all that in one space and then no matter, once we had our seat, we could take our time and dine and then enjoy the live entertainment. Mm -hmm. So it was a combination of all those things and as well as recognizing that at least our in-group has the most health challenges. And uh, looking at all of the analysis and crunching statistics as scientists uh, that we are, we know that a lot of what's killing us is the food. Uh, most of what people are consuming, sadly, is garbage. And so that's not what we offer here at Nefertari's. Our food is specially prepared, mainly organic, a lot of locally sourced products and it's real authentic food. So we did it all for you. <laughs> now when did, when did the restaurant open? When did we open? Was it August of 2013? August. I'm sorry, I was, yeah. was it 2013? End of August. I can never get dates together. It's okay. August 31st, I think, okay. of 2013. Mm -hmm. Uh, my husband gets on me about my anniversary, too. I can't remember that year either, it's but I, I know it's coming up. Thanks. Again. <laughs> <laughs> so, Dana, tell me what Nefertari has to offer in addition well, to what Sharon is offering. Well, I think she's time. highlighted a lot of mm -hmm. what we're trying to do. Um, I think, uh, you know, one thing that we offer is we offer a, a special social environment. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people that come eat here, they come in groups mm -hmm. and we know that food and socializing go together uh, and as she already mentioned, uh, it's difficult sometimes if you're with a group, especially sometimes we have groups of up to, upwards to 20 and plus at a time. So if you're with a group, a lot of times it's very hard to come to one establishment and find something that pretty much everybody will want to eat, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. Usually it's a compromise. Well, I'll go because you guys are going, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, and so we really thought a lot about that issue. And uh, also we like dining in different places. We like different types of uh, cuisine. Okay. And uh, we've been eating different types of cuisine for years. Mm -hmm. And so um, we thought, why not? Why couldn't you 
you know, have a restaurant that had different types of cuisine. Mm -hmm. It is challenging for chefs because most chefs don't learn to cook different types of cuisine. Okay. They, they cook a type of cuisine. Mm -hmm. But uh, with a little work, we were able to get our chefs to get buy into our, our approach and, and to learn how to cook the way we want them to. We cook our food like mom cooks food at home. Mm -hmm. We don't have a microwave at all in the back, so everything is prepared to order. I think sometimes that if, if people are used to the fast-paced life, that bothers them because then they have to sit and wait for their food to be cooked, mm -hmm. and that's not what they're after. So we have a fast food world, and people do sometimes bring that awareness to our establishment, mm -hmm. and that's difficult for people. But beyond that, uh, our environment is for really a laid back, mm -hmm. oh, this is a time to actually to slow down mm -hmm. and to uh, really spend more time with people and to socialize mm -hmm. and, and to eat and be, and be happy with your food. And so we're offering um, home cooked meals mm -hmm. in a restaurant. Right, right, yeah. <laughs> uh, Imagine and, that. And, and, you know, <laughs> and, and, uh, and so the other thing that we're offering is um, truly healthy food, mm -hmm. uh, as she mentioned. A lot of times people don't realize that most of the food, especially if it's a large corporate structure, mm -hmm. that the idea of um, preparing food for money is the main issue. You know, it's the money. That's right. what it's about. And mm -hmm. so they use cheap products. Mm -hmm. And so that means, yeah, your food costs less because mm -hmm. it's mm -hmm. cheap. Mm -hmm. But, you know, we are seeing that cheap food uh, which is usually uh, highly manufactured, highly processed, where the food actually has lost its nutritional value mm. and has been poisoned. Right. Uh, th that, yeah, like she said, that down the road that leads to a lot of health problems. Yeah, absolutely. So we're we're trying to offer uh, actual food, raw mm -hmm. food. Uh, we have we have a menu that extends from actually all raw food <laughs> to. <laughs> Uh, to, for vegans, uh -huh. all vegan food, okay. um, to um, foods that uh, embrace uh, seafood. Mm -hmm. uh, we do we do have chicken. We do have lamb. Mm -hmm. uh, so there's a, a variety. There is a is a, good a variety. variety. Okay, and, something for everyone, right? And, and all the spices are mm -hmm. real. Okay, yeah. yes they are. The spices <laughs> yeah, are real. yeah, that Ethiopian uh, <laughs> stew, stew. <laughs> that thing is yeah, it's good, yeah. but it yeah, it's hot like they right. eat it at home. Like I said, it's home cooked. Absolutely. Yeah. So you have brunch, yes. lunch, yes. dinner. Right. Um, lunch started last May. Right. Well, it started, um, yeah, maybe yeah, it was last May. Yeah. She keeps uh -huh. up. Right. She's probably was coming, the first, first day. Coming. You would know. <laughs> Every <laughs> week. <laughs> it was about to get you <laughs> menu and I, I really enjoy it and I do bring someone with Thank me you. every indeed, week indeed. to enjoy it. At least half of the people that I've had in here have mm -hmm. never been to Nefertari's before right. mm -hmm. and um, the purpose behind me bringing them is so that they will come and support mm -hmm. and um, the, the greatest joy that I receive is when I see people that I've brought here here, not with me, but with somebody else that yeah. they're bringing. Oh, absolutely. So yeah. absolutely. that's what it's all about. Well, tell me some more about what you offer in terms of events. I know there's poetry mm -hmm. um, one night. There's, you, sometimes you have some live music. Mm -hmm. um, you do Wind Down Wednesday, Wednesday I believe yeah, you still so do it. A hodgepodge, something that. for everyone. Right. Okay, so uh, quickly, mm -hmm. we have on um, special events on Mondays. So mm -hmm. the facility is available for rental on okay. Mondays for special events. Mm -hmm. On uh, Tuesdays, we have a uh, Black on Black Rhyme Poetry Troupe in here. That's uh, an event hosted by Keith Rogers. Mm -hmm. And we provide the food and beverage service. Mm -hmm. And then on uh, Sunday, the last Sun Wednesdays, every Wednesdays is Wine Down Wednesday. So you can have, uh, you can sample any dessert for $2 a sample or any wine mm -hmm. in-house for $2 mm -hmm. a sample. And then every last Sunday of the month, we have an extraordinary poetry, I mean, not poetry, comedy, uh, comedy night, yeah, mm -hmm. which is just laugh your face off, so to speak. Uh, so that, again, is a collaboration um, with a gentleman named Michael. And mm -hmm. uh, so you don't want to miss that because we have comic view comedians. We have comedians from all over, and we laugh our faces off. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Friday night, we have an uh, in-house group. Mm -hmm. um, that plays the uh, music that they have created. 
Okay. And then uh, sometimes on Thursday, we mm -hmm. have a, a parts of that group uh, that come and play live. And then on Saturday, some nights they will play also. It kind of depends on um, what what's happening, what, what season we're in right there. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. And then sometimes we have other guest artists that come, mm -hmm. uh, people that we know that write their own music and right. have talent and they want to just come and play and we, you know, okay. we provide that. I had Excellent. one uh, one of my guests that's an opera singer. Uh -huh. I didn't know she was an opera singer. Wow. And she came in to eat dinner and she said, well, can I go up on stage? Okay. And I said, well, maybe. I said, well, let's go outside for a second. And I took her outside, and then she hit about three notes, and I said, okay, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, she wowed my entire the house. She brought the house down. Wow, mm -hmm. wow, excellent. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you all for your time. This has been great. Uh, looking forward to many more meals here mm -hmm. and many more great experience. So I we'll appreciate it. Yes. I know you yes. All right, thank you so much. Thank You're you. Okay. Thank you, too. Mm -hmm.